What is up, know-it-alls? We have our week five predictions of the NFL season. What is up, know-it-alls? Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We really appreciate it. We post daily videos on different sports topics. Today, we got a great video for you. We are doing our week five preview slash predictions of the NFL season. Let's get into it, Dave. It's going to be a good one. We got a lot of good games this week. I'm excited. Oh, yeah, baby. First off, we got our Thursday night game. We got the Colts at the Patriots. The Patriots are favored by 10 points, Joey. I think that's pretty fair, actually. Usually, uh, I, I, usually I, I always think that games are, end up being closer than usually are, but I think 10 points is fair. Uh, this Colts team just looks so uninspiring to me. I, they, they, they might be one of the most boring teams in the league, I feel like. I think this is going to be a pretty simple and easy win for, for Tom Brady and co. Andrew Luck is balling, though, this year. I mean, yeah, but... He is balling. He threw four touchdowns, I think, like, over 400 yards last week. Yeah, but when your best, like, tight end right now is, like, Eric Ebron. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm with you. I'll, I'm, ta I'm taking the Patriots as well in that game, especially with the way they looked against my Dolphins last week. They're, they're going to yeah. go on a tear now, probably. All right, next up, we got the Dolphins at Bengals. Bengals are favored by six and a half points. I mean, I've been singing uh, the praise of the Bengals, actually, you know, since the start of the season. Uh, this is going to be a real close game, actually. I think... Uh, this is going to be, it's not going to be a, a highly watched game just because the Dolphins and Bengals aren't, you know, household names yet. But I've been saying that the Bengals defense is something serious. I really like it. Uh, they're going to have Joe Mixon back. I think he's, I think he's injured right now, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to play. Um, AJ Green is great as always. And they have really some really nice weapons that are stepping up. John Ross, their wide receiver. And I think the other one is Tyler Boyd, mm -hmm. who is Boyd's a star. sort of a as stud, that's just sort of that breakout guy. Um, I'm actually going to go with the Bengals on this one. At home, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Cincinnati. Yeah, for all the same reasons that you just said, I'm going to go with the Bengals. Um, the Dolphins are really banged up at the defensive line. That was the strength of our, te of our team earlier in the season. That contributed to a lot of our wins. And now yeah. our biggest strength is arguably now our biggest weakness because we have two guys that are out from injury. And we also just cut Jordan Phillips because he had an issue on the sideline yeah. against the Patriots. So now we are very thin at the defensive line. I think the Bengals will wear us out, especially with that running game with Joe Mixon. But, yep. um, yeah, I'm going to go with the Bengals with this one. Okay. Next up, we got the Titans at Bills. Titans favored by three and a half on the road. Three and a half? I think that's – I mean, I don't even like the Titans like that. Like, again, like just like the Colts, they're a super uninspiring team to me. They're – I'm not – I don't get excited watching the Titans play, but I think they are going to win by at least – uh, a touchdown against Buffalo. I don't care if Buffalo's at home. Yeah. Titans quietly having a really good season. They're three and one. They're they only, beat the Jaguars. Yeah, they beat the Jags at Jacksonville. Their only yeah. loss on the season was to Miami in Miami with two two hour weather delays. It's hard yeah. for a team to come back and plus their entire team their starting left got, left tackle got was hurt and he was out for the game. Um Delaney Walker broke his foot and he was out for the yep. game. And Marcus Mariota was in a concussion protocol, and they yep. still were kind of in that game, and that was their only loss of the season so far. So quietly, like, they're kind of doing their thing over there in Tennessee. Yeah, totally So I'm, I'm taking the Tennessee Titans, obviously, over the Bills. <coughs> Sorry. Next up, we got the Baltimore Ravens against the Cleveland Browns. The Baltimore Ravens are favored by three points on the road. This is going to be a good game. I think you misspoke. Uh, do you mean the Cleveland Bakers? The Cleveland Bakers. The Cleveland uh, Baker Mayfields. Yeah, listen, I know you love Baker. I love Baker. Uh, but I think this is going to be a pretty easy win for the Ravens. Oh, I won't say easy. They're going to win. But Cleveland will keep it close, I feel like. they got Cleveland has uh, an underrated defense, I think. Cleveland might have the best, of, well, with the exception of Khalil Mack, they might have the best defensive end in the league. Really? Miles, I mean, yeah. Miles Garrett is a stud. But Baker's my boy, but he's going against the number two defense in the league. He's going to get – this is going to be a tough game for him. He, I think he's going to throw a lot of interceptions. It's going to be a lot of turnovers. It's going to be a really tough game for him. I got Baltimore in this game. Okay. Next up, Packers at Lions. Green Bay's favored uh, by a point. 
One point? One no, point. no way. They're on the road. Uh, I don't care. The Lions suck this year. Technically, Matt Patricia... technically that's four points because the when when two teams play at, when a team plays at home, they're automatically spotted three points on the line for Vegas. If you didn't know that. No, I didn't know that, but I still think it's too low. <laughs> um, I, I I think the Lions suck this year. I think Patricia has already lost the locker room. I feel like there's just so Facts. much tension and frustration in that locker room. Uh, and the Packers have this guy. I don't know if you heard about him. His name is Aaron Rodgers. Wait, really? Who's uh, that? I, I don't know. I think he's just a young come up. But um, up yeah, I think back. he's a lead into a win. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're agreeing on everything this week. But yeah, Packers and Lions. <laughs> I agree with you on that one. And next up, we got our game of the week potential AFC Championship preview. Yep. The Jacksonville Jaguars go to Kansas City. Kansas City is favored by three points. Yep, you know, this is the best offense going up against the best defense. And uh, I know you think uh, defense wins games, defense wins championships, but not today. I think the Chiefs are coming out to win at home. Heck no. We got Jacksonville. Jacksonville's going to bring that swag. Jalen Ramsey's going to be talking all week long. They're going to go to Kansas City, and they're finally, someone is going to humble Patrick Mahomes. Patty McBuckets, guys. That is our nickname, Patty McBuckets. Patty hey, guys, McBuckets. in the comments down below, spam Patty McBuckets. <laughs> <laughs> All Patty I want to see is Patty McBuckets in the, in the comments. <laughs> Everyone shout it out. Okay. So I got Jacksonville over the Chiefs. Next up, we got the Broncos versus the Jets. Jets are at yeah. home. Jets are favored by a point? That's that's surprising. I, th- I, th- I think the, the odds makers got that one wrong. <laughs> um the uh, the Broncos, they're not like a top tiered team, but they're still they have their moments where they can play really really good, um, and I think they're going to take this one. I mean, they have stud running backs. Their defense is as per usual dominant. Uh, Case Keenum is just doing enough to just get the job done, and if Demarius Thomas can stop dropping balls, I think that they're going to come away with the win. Yeah, I think um, Chubb and Von Miller are going to get a lot of pressure. On Sam Darnold, yeah. it's going to be a rough rookie year for Sam Darnold, but he's going to be yeah. better for it, I think. I, I think mean, Sam Darnold is going to sort of have like that Jared Goff year. Jared Goff really struggled yeah. his rookie season, but obviously he's doing well now, and I, I think that's what's going to happen with Darnold. Even Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning had a terrible rookie season. Yeah, is Sam Darnold the new Peyton Manning? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> so next up we got the Falcons. Did, did I make my pick? I'm saying the Broncos over the Jets. I don't know if I officially said it or not. Yeah, I feel like that's a simple one. Yeah, next up we got the Falcons at Steelers. Pittsburgh favored by three. So I actually think the... See, the Falcons are better than their record. You know what I mean? But I think both teams I, are better than their record. Yeah, but I, I don't like the Steelers. I think their defense sucks. But I'm going to take them at home. I'm going to take them at home. I might be wrong about it. Jeez, we're agreeing on everything. I'm taking the Steelers against Damn the Falcons it. as well. I think this L. Bell news, the fact that he's coming back, is going to make this locker room a lot better. People are going to have more faith. They're going to be like, all right, we're getting our guy back. So I think with the, the news of Le'Veon Bell coming back in the future, not this week, but I think it's going to yeah. like ramp them up a little bit, and they're going to get a win at home against the Falcons. Next yep. up, we got the Joey Garces Giants versus the Carolina Panthers. Carolina's at home, favored by seven. Uh, boy. I mean, uh, I mean, you were talking about the Panthers earlier. They're quietly one of the best teams in the NFC, and uh, I think they are really going to prove it <laughs> against my Giants. Um, I just the de- the defense is so scary that I, they're just going to hurt poor Eli. I feel like Eli is not going to have time to throw the ball down the field. Uh, I don't have faith in my Giants this week. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I think the Panthers might. This potentially could be another route, like last week when they played the Saints. Yep. But now they're on the road, so I think the Panthers are going to win easy in this one against the Giants. Yep. So, start of the 4 o'clock games, we got the Raiders and the Chargers. Chargers at home, favored by 5.5. I think that's too low. I think the Chargers um, have a really good offense. Melvin Gordon is, he doesn't get talked about enough. He's one of, one of the best running backs in the league, and I think the Chargers win this one. I think this game is over by the fourth quarter. I think they they win in three. I'm going to take the upset. 
No way. I'm going to take the upset. You're just saying that just to disagree with me. No, no, I'm not. I think Oakland Raiders are going to go to LA and they're going to beat up on those Chargers. It's a divisional game. So crazy things happen in division games. I just have a feeling. I I can't tell you why. I just have a feeling that the Chargers, I just think the Raiders are going to win, beat the Chargers. I think they're going to have a lot of momentum from last week from their first win. Okay. Next up, we got the Vikings at Eagles favored, Philly's favored by three. Um, that's understandable. I think the Eagles and Vikings have sort of both been a little disappointing to start off the season. Um, but I'm good. I, I feel like the, I just feel like the Vikings are a better team overall. I'm going to go with the Vikings today. I'm going to go with the Eagles. Okay. I think Carson Wentz gets a little more consistent. I think um, the Eagles know that two and two. They're if they fall too far behind the NFC, it's going to be a lot of trouble for them. So I think they get a win at home against the Vikings. Yeah. Next I, up, I, we got the Cardinals and the 49ers. The 49ers favored by four points, and I think that's the only game they'll ever be favored for the rest of the season. Yeah, this is going to be the trash bowl. Um, both teams are just super super disappointing. Um, I'm gonna at. At Candlestick, at, at San Fran, I'm going to go... I'll go to San Fran. Yeah, I'll go to San Fran, even I'm though gonna, they just... Oh, sorry. No, I was going to say, even though they don't have Jimmy G, I'm going to go with them. Yeah, because Jimmy G's out, I think the Cardinals get the first win of the season. Why yeah, not? Again, why another not? <laughs> another divisional game. They know yeah, each other never know what can well. happen. I just think the Cardinals will get their first win of the game, one of the season. Next up, the LA Rams at the Seattle Seahawks. The Rams are favored by seven on the road. Um, yeah, that sounds about right. I think the Rams are, like you say, they're the best team in in the league. They should have no problem with Seattle, uh, even with, you know, being in Seattle. I think the Rams come away easily. I think, oh, man, I, I feel bad for Russell Wilson because Aaron Donald is going to just carve through that offensive line. And he's going to be a monster, as per usual. All right. Yeah, I'm with you. I mean, the Rams are the best team in the league. They could go... 14 and 2, 15 and 1 potentially, I think, this year. They're yeah. they're really, really good and they're gonna be very tough to beat. So I think they're gonna win by a lot in Seattle. Okay. Uh the Cowboys at Texans. We got a Texas Roadhouse Battle Royale. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the Texans say. <laughs> yeah. All those hicks. Uh I'm gonna go with the Texans at home. Again, they've been a, a super disappointing team to start the year. Um, but so has Dallas. I think Dallas is one of the worst teams in the league. Um, I da- the only saving grace that offense has is Dak uh, is uh, Zeke Elliott, excuse me. Um, and their defense, it's kind of good. But I mean, I'm pretty sure Sean Lee isn't playing again. I mean, I feel like he put averages like three games a year. Um, I think I just think the Houston uh, Texans are gonna get it done this week. I'm gonna roll with the Cowboys. Just okay. because I feel like Cowboys think the Texans are little brother of Texas. Yeah. So I think they'll go over to Houston. They'll beat up on them as Big yeah, Brother does. Sure. Last up, we got the Monday Night Football game. The Washington Redskins versus the New Orleans Saints. The Saints are favored by six and a half. I think that's fair. I think uh, playing at New Orleans in the Dome, uh, this is going to be an easy win for the Saints. Even though the Redskins are... L- be, are looking better than than I anticipated. I did not expect Adrian Peterson to be this good to start the season, um, but and I think they're definitely going to score points. Obviously, against that New Orleans defense that is just been terrible this year. Mm-hmm. Um, but I still think I still think the their offense is going to bail them out and win another one for them. New Orleans at home. Drew Brees, top three quarterback in the NFL right now. We got Michael Thomas. He's potentially the best wide receiver in the league right now yeah. that no one's talking yeah. about. Not that no one's talking about. He just might be the best wide receiver in the league, period. Yeah, and then you got Alvin Kamara, potentially the best running back in the league. And not to mention, you got Mark Ingram coming back this year. I think that's a lot oh of momentum. Just They just crushed the Giants. I think they're going to... I think the Redskins are going to jump into a buzzsaw this week on Monday Night Football. I think... They're going to show out. They're going to turn out for Monday with, with the whole nation watching. All right, know-it-alls, that is the video. Again, we appreciate all you guys. Make sure to drop a like if you're still watching this video this late. Hey, uh, what did I say to spam? What did I say to, to comment? Patty McBuckets. Patty McBuckets. Patty spam the comments. Patty McBuckets. That's Patrick Mahomes' nickname for us, guys. 
As always, hit the subscribe button. We post daily videos about the various sports topics. You got anything for him, Joe? Uh, thank you guys for sticking with us, man. The channel is growing a lot quicker than we anticipated, and we owe it all to you guys. So thanks so much. Yeah, we appreciate every single one of you guys. Again, thank you very much. We will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Have a great day. Mm.